The slow correction in Bitcoin that is currently taking place. Yes, you probably didn't realize that you thought Bitcoin safely ensconced roughly at the 30K, maybe a bit below, but above the uh, up to the 31K. Um, what correction are we talking about? It's a ledge. Well, there's actually a slow uh, and methodical slight easing in crypto taking place, particularly Bitcoin. Um, and to some degree, Ethereum will be having a look at some of the others as well. Uh, we will also be updating you on XRP. We'll be updating you on the other uh, key individual tokens that we think uh, relevant. We'll take a look at Litecoin, for example. Uh, but what I want to make you aware of is that there is a very good spell coming for Bitcoin and in actual fact and crypto as a whole uh, and further upside uh, for XRP in our view uh, to, still to come. So why you should be bullish about the slow hidden correction that is currently occurring in Bitcoin and the broader crypto uh, market. First of all, why is this happening? Um, so we're going to start again a little bit away from crypto. Check out Andro Steno Larson. Um, done a good thread here on the Euro USD, talking about Europe lagging by four or five months uh, when economic turns happen. So there's a little bit of an overshoot, a sort of shunting effect. They're still growing while the other, while the US is peaking out. You can also see some comments about uh, reserve managers, why certain people will be buying back euros again since the risk to yield ratio is better than any other time over the past decade. So why are we talking about the euro USD when we talk about crypto? Well, I've mentioned it many times before. Look at your eyes, look at your eyes. The truth of the matter, bad for dollar, good for gold and silver. Gold, the king anti-fiat, and also the other anti-fiat category, crypto, king of the crypto god market, Bitcoin, uh, followed by the rest of the cryptos as the proxy for silver, like Ethereum and the alts, etc., uh, etc. Et um, so there is reserve. Remember, it's the big money that moves up to a four or five trillion market uh, every day. Uh, between the euro and the USD. And remember something else, when the dollar becomes unpopular, it's not all rushing into gold and Bitcoin. In actual fact, most of it is staying in the same system. Most corporates, most mega treasuries, most government treasuries are actually shifting money from one fiat to the other. That's where most things happens. That's how you get to four to five trillion in a day on one of the biggest pairs and that was a, that's something I'm repeating from a few years back God knows what it is today given the recent proliferation and everything else that goes on so here's a particularly interesting thing uh, and the tweet I wanted to bring you to um, is the euro USD core inflation spread is now more than 0.5 percent this is the first time since 2011 and happens very rarely so what does that mean the spread points to Euro USD, Euro USD above 1.2 again, says this poster. Sounds far-fetched, but can't be ruled out. So what he's saying is the core inflation in this chart, so let's just make this chart a little bit bigger. The core inflation is higher Euro USD spread. That's the difference between core inflation in Euroland versus America. The difference is actually negative, uh, going positive for the first time. My apologies, it's normally negative. It's going positive for the first time. When it dips, the eurozone growing a lot lower, much lower inflation rate. Europe, uh, the dollar and the American economy, a higher inflation rate, more burn, more consumption, more everything. That is typical scenario. And when you are falling away from the zero down, we actually had our head and shoulder. We gave this W head, we call it the M head, uh, and this shoulder as a major breakdown on the Euro USD. We'll be updating that, by the way, on the Market Sniper. Go and subscribe there for staying up to date. You had the spiller, an absolute thriller that also led to the dollar index as part of our bull call, which is very similar proxy leading to the 114 top out and running our 111 target on the way there. What's now actually happening is the expectations for inflation in Europe are higher than the expectations of core inflation. So core is this, the real essential stuff um, in, in layman's terms. Um, what that means is 
they're going to have to do more on interest rates and hold longer. So you're going to get a better yield and they're going to get a better bid because fiat, global fiat money, the treasury of Apple, where do they put all this cash that they're generating, will sit in currencies that will give them a higher yield and are more likely to appreciate as a result of that yield. So what does that mean? A drive on euro relative to the dollar. That's not to say Euroland has great economic policies. This is a serious endorsement. This is the ebb and flow where we're actually getting a rarity where the perception of core inflation is higher in Europe than it is in America. And as a result of that, you're going to have Euro dominance. And as we've pointed out many times before, it's an ironic fact that actually what's good for Euro is good for Bitcoin. It's not the only driver. Of course it isn't. But we need to see pain on dollar to get a tailwind on gold, silver and crypto. And that is what that's giving. So let's go straight to the charts and get you to what you're more accustomed to seeing. Only it doesn't quite look exactly like your chart. That's because we started with the Bitcoin Euro. We started with the Bitcoin Euro chart. In other words, there's been a, a fairly significant crash in the dollar and it's ongoing and we expect it to go further. The tweet that said 1.20, well, we have a 97 Dixie target and we can expect some overperformance to the downside there. We'll take a look at that a little later. But what does that mean is happening um, versus the euro? Well, you're actually getting a little bit of a corrective response going on here through the euro. That's right. Let's put it up on a bigger time frame. Let's take you out of the two hour. Let's go up to the four. And it'll be easier to see this. But you are easing back down. This was a key funnel level, by the way. You can see support. You can see support and resistance secondary here. I think we're going to come down into this in and around the 25,900 euros. 25,900 euros range after what we called one of the most bullish corrections here. You got this correction, remember? We called it one of the most bullish corrections and suggested you buy the equivalent of that. That was $24,900. And on the euros, it was around 23,000, uh, 22,970, 23,000 euros. You got a beautiful spit up and you're actually higher there. And now you're getting a little bit of the same. You're getting a little bit of the same on a shorter now opinion. That was quite a lengthy correction that you got on Bitcoin. Let's clean our face a little bit. This one I think is going to be a tad shorter. But I think you're probably facing some degree of pullback like that at the moment. So after trying to hold a key level, 27,200, very interesting level. We'll refer to some of these levels in a bit. Um, you are actually pulling back at the moment. But it's a very unseen one. Why? Because everybody measures gold, silver and Bitcoin in dollars. But the problem is the dollar has now become part of that story. Um, and we'll touch on that more later when we have a look at the dollar index and the euro USD. Uh, but I gave you that uh, initial tweet series to give you the view. If we have a look at Bitcoin against the dollar, it's doing a reasonably decent job of holding on. It's getting a little bit on the low end of its range here. Uh, but typically you've had a stall box roughly at the 30K through to the 31. So you've just run or 31 and a half. You've just run the 30. Uh, one and a half and you've just run the 29 you've got that essentially there's been a tiny bit of broadening it wants to actually correct but in actual fact it is already correcting against the other currencies in much the same way as gold gold is not yet ready to be fully bullish but in actual fact it's kind of in the pack with the other currencies it's going down against the pound and the euro and it's going up against the dollar so the notion that gold will either be the dominant one and only up against everything or down against everything, you're not getting that. You're getting a much more nuanced uh, effect. In short, the currency effects are the big effects right now. They are moving. There's no domination coming out of gold or crypto for that point. Crypto kind of soft and the silent crash that no one's talking about. But you've actually got a little bit of a broadening here. Um, you could churn, you could skid a little lower. Uh, if we have a look at Bitcoin against other proxy fiats, 
such as the pound, you'll see similar. You see a bigger correction. Now the pound is back above 130 and the euro is back above 112. Look at that. Pretty much that's your uh, channel down after hopping onto a level. Some might argue that you had a bit of a shoulder. You might have had a little bit of a complex head there and then a broadening structure there for a right shoulder and now you're breaking down and that if it were to perform could in fact see you come a little lower. Uh, you would have roughly that geometry generated to the downside. That's probably a bit much that I've indicated. So you could have a little more uh, to go but it's a slow motion one and it's against all the other currencies that it's happening and if you're American um, you care mainly of what it's doing relative to the dollar. Um, it may not be much, but it's going sideways and softer, leaning on the floor a little bit more. Uh, and you can see that it's doing a full-blown correction against the other fiats. Uh, so it shows that actually uh, Bitcoin and crypto as a whole is also a bit of a mixed bag, is on the soft side, wanting to hold with the dollar and actually even not doing a particularly great job of that getting a little heavy. That's Bitcoin uh, in, 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 a, in a quick summary. If we have a look at the dominance, it's also shedding on the dominance. Now I expect that to eventually stop, but we got quite well away from the 50% mark over here. here. Remember the 50% mark? We told you that's a key level. You charge right up here. Look at this getting a little bit ahead of itself there and broadening structure and megaphone on a bull pole like that and there you break and that was pretty much that after that you got a, a reasonable moderated pullback try to hold a level around there and spilt pretty hard and you're in a broadening structure like that heading down so i do expect we will actually get some bitcoin dominance coming back at some point we're at the low edge of the wedge of the Bitcoin dominance and you guessed it, right back at the 50% mark. The 50% mark. So you've done a round tripper after going as high as 52.25, 52.2. Uh, you've done a round tripper and stumped up that 2.5 uh, again uh, with a real spill that occurred. A large part of that came with the clarification from the SEC on XRP, which of course gave an instant boost to our XRP dominance chart. So if we were to split the screen here, you would see it's almost uh, a tale of two cities in that the one was stealing from the other. Um, there were of course other alts. The total three as a whole did well. We'd also given you ADA as an interesting one to watch. But if we were to put the XRP dominance down here, we'll say goodbye to Cardano. Grab XRP and you will see, no, chose the wrong one. We've swapped them around, Bitcoin's going to go to the bottom. There you go. Never mind me hitting the wrong button all the time. Okay, so we've got them in there. You will see that that Bitcoin DOM, let's get Bitcoin DOM on there, absolutely cratered just as XRP pumped. So that was stealing from Peter to give to Paul. Um, and that is exactly what happened. We, of course, were long in here and we'd worn that in our uh, shorts. Don't get carried away by the optimism of a particular moment when you're feeling kind of perky and up for it. You get to sleep on something and look at it through different, more jaundiced eyes, more cynical eyes maybe later. And the key aspect of it is it should be shifting and changing only gradually and your scenario should still hold valid. It's one of the benefits of big time frames. They're more reliable. So as you can see, that's us talking about the benefits of big time frames while we were discussing that very XRP uh, setup and how with time you can look and say, listen, instead of getting emotively stimulated and going charge, 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 you sleep on it, the next day you get a chance to look at it. And in spite of that, we continue to stay uh, very bullish on that. And this must have been fairly shortly before the subsequent spike which we will show you on the charts but we left the two dominances we were showing you the two dominances how uh, what was good for one was bad for the other uh, as a major uh, chart we could also add uh, total three in here 
on top, not just XRP dominance, and you can see that there was a degree of that too. And that Bitcoin starting to get a little bit of bid total three, a little bit anemic, looks like it could skid off a little bit more. We had ADA that we provided for you. That was a nice uh, runner too. Of course, uh, XRP was our primary choice, but uh, the ADA uh, run was pretty handy for a number of people. You can see the spike there. You can see how its effect in the total three has continued to see it drift a little down. Uh, and hence the value of targets, uh, which you would have got a, a very excellent uh, takeoff in terms of that now drifting down. So there is actually a slightly skidding environment for crypto as a whole, in spite of what was very, very positive news. And there is a skid on the dollar that has masked the fact that the individual cryptos are also coming down. Let's have a look at XRP though, uh, just the uh, chart itself. So here was our squeeze, 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 where we were highlighting the two impulses. And you can see roughly where eventually that break came. So that short was just before that. We've told you many times about exactly this. And what you'll notice that this one has pulled the least back. What you have actually is the first definitive statement of what isn't a security that is more clarity than just about any of the other tokens. Bitcoin and Ethereum are assumed to be okay and in the clear broadly. Um, but there, it's not as if there's been explicit statement thereon. Others have been pulled into this. They haven't got the clarity. In fact, Library Coin LBC uh, largely appears to have lost its case. Uh, only at a much lower level, they didn't have the funds to fight uh, the same battle as XRP. Uh, and XRP appears to have won. How you can have those two separate decisions is also a little bit beyond me, but the circumstances aren't exactly the same, and neither were the access to uh, exploration that uh, the matter was given on the library coin case, particularly detailed and in depth. So overall, we're expecting XRP wants this correction and it's holding its own with a mild drift. Once this correction is over, we're expecting a breakout through the 100 uh, cents, which of course is a dollar, a key round number, and we're expecting the 10674 to be run and into the lower teens. So we would see in and around 112, 113 is being a good run that would see that target taken out. That target, where did it come from? That purple line, you might wonder. Where's all these fancy lines coming from? Well, a lot of them come from double bottoms and patterns that we've already identified. On this one, we have it as 107, and it is, in fact, the W bottom. So it's quite a messy chart. We've shown you the, the ridiculous risk or reward that you've now begun your journey on of 683,000 that you would have got in over there with your stop loss placing, assuming you make the $1677 uh, mark. $16.77 and that you do not at any point come back this low again. That is our overall opinion of what will happen. That will mean a 1 is to 683. You tell us if you know anyone who's landed that uh, before. 1.07028 is the target that's on stamp that we have. It will vary by exchange. What is it for? It is for the W that you see here. That target delivers that for us. Uh, this entire structure here was in fact a wind up to smash that 50 cents level and break it for good. It was the 55 as a neckline. We were just going through the 50, just going through, turning down, just going through, turning down. We couldn't hold above the 55 level for any meaningful time. And as a result, uh, that wind up then smashed us and has brought us through to the 75 cents level for which the next gateway point is of course the one dollar mark so there may be some time that needs to transpire i am not going to wade in on leverage too soon i'm going to look for an invitation brought to us by the market current entry points is the skidding off litecoin which is very much emulating bitcoin only a little bit more downside beta we continue to hold out for Litecoin to uh, be in a situation where it will run the 140 mark. And that is for a bigger pattern 
that you're not seeing here. We expect it to support as we get into the denser uh, funnel level that is created some time ago. This box uh, is, in, is in essence a support box. It sold down pretty hard here. Uh, unsurprisingly, sat on the level for a little bit and a little bit of drift down. But we do feel that there's still a bit of a quarter pipe being made here. Tiny bit of a setback with uh, the off today, but that's in due course it'll turn and make and run $140 when all of this turns around. So that is the structure of that particular pattern. Messy chart, lots of lines, but key part $139 uh, up for grabs. So a very good triggering event. And as a result, we have full uh, confidence that it will perform in spite of this return move. It broke very boldly from down here uh, and is yet to take round trip that all the way back. And we think it's going to base out over here and begin its journey back upwards. It has plenty of time for that to be made. But what's going to require that? Well, we need to go back to the dollar index. We're expecting the dollar index at 97. So for a while, gold and then silver were rather flat given the weakness of the dollar, which means they were also taking the opportunity to have a little bit of a rest. If we have a look at this, there's gold against the dollar. Let's show you that's daily. You can see it did turn. Eventually, it's got a target above here on an inverted head and shoulders. Let's put that on a lower time frame so you can spot it. 1930 is the neckline. That, 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 and that. That is classic reversal bottoming. So those two there. And then a complex head like that. That's what's happening. And also right now having a little bit of an easing back before a finishing push. That will take you through there. But that's gold against the dollar. If we take you in much the same way as we showed you Bitcoin, Euro, Bitcoin, Pound, if we take you gold versus, let's say, any of the other uh, major currencies, how about the Euro? We've shown you Bitcoin, Euro. Actually, it looks a different chart, doesn't it? I should have left my uh, squiggle draw. There you go. There you go. Um, Bob, no, it's not going there. It's bleeding lower. It's bleeding lower. Again, let's have a look at that dollar. How does it look gold dollar? Totally different. You can see this is a dollar weakness tail. A dollar weakness tail at the moment. Gold is not dominating all the other fiats. There it is against the pound, more like the euro, going drifting off into new lows. There it is against the yen, major sell off from up high all the way back down against the yen. So what we're actually seeing is real weakness in the dollar. The gold silver ratio, which is a very good proxy and useful for crypto, and many people don't appreciate this fact. It's a very useful indicator for crypto because you will start to see precious metals go up when you have dollar weakness and you want to see this go down. We had a real slam here. This has been a level that has been run all the way through. We need to make sure we're still on log scale here. There you go. It has broken that level for the first time. There's a big interaction, 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 interaction. We've been waiting uh, since all of this, and that's a big slap in the face, slam down. We've been waiting for a turn here like this for a period, some period indeed. We expect a weak rally and a throwdown to the 65. That's going to be very beneficial gold and silver, but it's also going to be very beneficial crypto. So I, my suspicion is whatever rally we get or at any point, when we turn down hard here in this gold silver ratio, you will have silver going up even more than gold in an environment where the dollar will be losing even further ground. And that ties us into our Dixie 97 call. Let's go and get into the Dixie. So we've had technical run of the 100. 
And what's happened on the 100, you can see this. This is very unconvincing stuff. Pretty much in what we'd call sort of bare flag attempt and a nose above the 100 level after breaking it. That I would expect to, regardless what happens to the upside here, to break down for further downside. This is on the one hour. Where's it going to on the bigger time frames back up to the daily? Ninety seven to the downside. So that's further to the downside. These are opportunities to get more on the short scale. And I think at some point gold starts to show more strength than the rest of the other currencies where it's bleeding off to and more strength for crypto at the moment they're both taking the opportunity to rest you have a look at the euro usd just so that you have some perspective on this one um, we've been big bears on the euro before this head and shoulder was a classic draw of ours that we shared on the market sniper side pointing out that you got the better part of a 32.81 when you shorted that with us you made the target continue to the downside you got an inverted here that gave you the parity run you ran parity people forget the euro was at 95 at one point and it, there are now people talking of it returning back to the 120s where this head and shoulder were a round tripper a round tripper for the dollar against the euro uh, people talking of 120s I don't know about that I think you get your 97 on the Dixie and wherever that is for Euro USD maybe where we start to get a little bit of pushback don't forget it's far from a great currency it's just the liquidity the other half of the liquidity when people aren't holding dollars and they are unsure about the direction of the dollar um, so there you go there you have it we've given you a small check-in on Litecoin we uh, showed you the total let's go back up to the total uh, three that is excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum how it's looking for that you can see it is showing some recovery we can go to the weekly here and have a little look on that it's had a long sustained period of downside I think you've got a little bit of a basing bottom here where you might now have reasons to start ask the question do we have a bottom uh, 290 billion maybe we can squeeze that up to 300 and you could probably with a 400 say you've got it uh, if we get back up to this level we're on a log scale again you could probably argue that we've got some upside from here uh, if we can get back up there that would give you a potential W bottom with a marginally higher low the second low which is inherently a little bit bullish still some way to go for that to happen it could come with XRP getting back above a dollar heading for that dollar uh, 11 12 uh, range which I think is in the in the targeting possibilities uh, I think it's not about to happen immediately I think we're still skidding slightly off on the market so this will be a slow worker up to there possibly a bit of sideways for it if Bitcoin continues to slow um, if we have a look at including Ethereum you can see that it didn't dip as far down but it isn't moving as fast up either so let me just turn the eye off there you can see you moved up higher you came down less far but you've also moved up recently less far so it's a bit more lower vol with the theorem that's it to be expected and if we go the whole total you can see that you dip lower but you've actually had a higher run up on bitcoin um, and it's it's kind of a hybrid of the Bitcoin and the rest of the old markets. If we go for the Bitcoin market, you can see you deeper into the bull turn. That certainly uh, occurred a lot sooner and you're a lot higher. 
the down leg here is actually a lot more moderate but it does appear that you've got a little bit of easing to do so i want to run back to our bit bitcoin euros and show you a little bit more of the draws and what targets are starting to show up on other currencies apart from the euro by the way volume by price we often do inside our premium community we have highlighted that this zone is a real vacuum zone for volume by price you had a lot of volume uh, to the other side and it's stacked up again nice and high over here but look how low you were on volume in these levels so that's an interesting observation it's a bit of a vacuum point that we're in so we're going to drop this time frame now into the lower time frame so that you can see past all those lines uh, and what we've got uh, for you in there so the one thing that's interesting with all of this is you've already had a fairly sustained pullback We've got a cluster of key levels in and around this point over here where I would say a reversal is quite strong. The, the potential possibilities of a reversal are quite strong. If we pop over to the Bitcoin pound, which is again a different proxy for the fiat uh, dollar. We've got uh, the British fiat instead. Now, it's very clear that we've got a number of inverted structures. So there was, on the way down, we had inverted HVFs that set up funnels. You can see how we resisted in those funnels here and currently now. And it's our expectation that that is a left shoulder and that you are currently undergoing complex right shoulders, for example, with a huge head structure. With that understood, you're looking at around 24750. 24,750 pounds bought you one Bitcoin. That blue line, the light blue line that runs there, generates a 47,000 pound price target. 47,000 pound price target. I also highlight that you have what we refer to as nestled head and shoulders so this is very similar to the 25k dollar neckline 25k dollar neckline in actual fact it's 20,500 pounds 2500 not 20,000 25,000 and you had the same structure that we've now made famous by calling the rather excellent entries there and then later there on a technical run which you've got uh, as similar entries potential entries on the pound so this was left shoulder head and right shoulder that also gave 32,187 as a target so there's a couple of big levels to be eaten uh, along the way here and a triggering event at the 24,750 that's number there for which we think you're building up that great right shoulder which is all part of this head all the way down that you spilt from on the downside during the bear market that was part and parcel of the eventual journey to that low so left shoulder big blue head here and right shoulder in play for which this is a kind of a handle on a cup that is on a which in and of itself is a handle on a larger cup uh, so you sometimes get this complexity in the right shoulders and left shoulders, especially when you consider this was an inverted HVF. So that points to very clear reversals and upsides. All your targets are to upsides. This is an easing period for crypto and the next major move will be impulsive to the upside. This is our conclusion and it's likely to have as a tailwind further devaluation of the dollar that could run until September according to others 
whose opinion it is that it'll be a four to five months arrears cycle and overshoot of growth in Europe with higher core inflation before they too turn down given America's alleged downturn. Um, okay, guys, I hope that's interesting to you. Stay tuned. It may be a bit boring at first. You're actually getting corrected uh, at the moment. It's a pullback and it's an opportunity to load up. Uh, the only thing I hold is investment. The leverage trades I'll be looking to add on the likes of Litecoin and XRP as and when they invite me to do so. You want to find out how they do that, when they do it and when I'm putting it on. You just go and hit that very first link in the description and book a call. First link in the description, book a call. Costs you nothing apart from a little bit of time. Show up uh, and you can find out how we will support you in getting to high levels of wealth that you will retain and protect in reset times. Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.